Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Home, the guitar podcast, and it's an unboxing day. I got something in that I'm very excited about uh, because this is on YouTube. You've already read the uh, the title description, so you know that it's a Source Audio Ventress Reverb. Let's get into it, huh? Why waste time? Cutting towards myself with a very sharp X-Acto blade in the way that you're not supposed to. People always say cut away from yourself, but I feel like that's it's awkward. It's obviously safer. Like if I slip, I'm not going to cut myself going out like that, but it just feels so physically awkward. I feel like I don't have good control of the blade when I cut away from myself in this way, especially if I'm holding the box. I don't know. I, I feel like it's better to have control of the blade cutting any direction rather than not feel like I have control of the blade cutting another direction, cutting a safer direction. Near it's open. Oh, nice. They sent me a shirt. <laughs> I don't hate that at all. I love shirts. I'm wearing one right now. Oh, man. I've been so excited for this. Ventress Dual Reverb 1 Series. A little bit of uh, some paperwork sticking out the side. I'm assuming there's a note about the setup to me. Yep, hi, Ryan. Personal note. I don't hate that. I'll get this thing under the big camera for the rest of the unboxing. All sorts of little pieces of paperwork and things in here. The thing I'm wondering, is this going to be able to function off of a one spot or am I going to need to use a provided power supply for it? Interesting. It comes with a TRS quarter inch to 3.5 cable. I wonder what that's for. Oh man, I am excited. Let's see what the power says on here 400 milliamps I, I think a one spot should cover it right 1700 milliamps from the one spot the rest of it checks out but I think I'll use the provided power supply for now just in case if this can run off of normal pedal power I'll be stoked but I don't want to risk it right now two outputs and MIDI through MIDI in two inputs pedal in on the back. I wonder if that's what that TRS cable's for. USB expression control input. What is control input? There's stuff on here that I don't know what it does. Uh, obviously, I have interest in this pedal mostly because of its drippy reverb sound that they have in there now. Uh, but I'm really excited to check out the rest of the features that this thing has to offer. It's a really just over the top reverb computer and there's a lot that can be done with it I'm sure. All right I'm gonna get set up and plug it in right now and then start doing some playing and get some first reactions off this thing. Hear that drip? Let's go! All right set up and ready to roll. This thing is on. Uh, it's set to this middle position between room and reverse which is what the notes say it needs to be for me to access the outboard spring reverb sound, which is what I'm interested in, and that drippy reverb sound. And here it is. It sounds great already. Uh, there's a really neat drip sound floating around in there. Let's play around with the settings and see what we can make it do. So it's interesting messing around with it. I'm doing a lot of knob twisting here. Uh, it really seems to live in the surfy, drippy territory somewhere around here on the time knob. 
uh, the there's a lot of pre-delay on tap if you want it, like a lot. If you turn that up, you get a lot of pre-delay. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild. Uh, so you want to have that be pretty tight for a surf rock sound. And then the treble control does what it says. If you want to sound like an authentic, uh, you know, Fender outboard reverb unit, Turning that pretty high is probably going to get you there. They're known for being pretty bright, but it's neat to have controls on this that allow you to explore sounds outside of the traditional, and you could get, you know, a really neat dark drip out of this. And then control one controls the amount of bass response is what I think is happening. There's just a bit more bass push. With that turned up. Yeah. So leave that up just for fun, for a more modern sound. And then control two is the dwell which is a classic control on a Fender outboard reverb unit. I honestly think I like it turned down a little bit. And then, of course, there's the mix control. Go all the way dry. I don't know why you'd do that. Uh, let's scroll through some of the other settings now just to check them out for first impressions. Uh, I'm really happy with this drip sound so far. I'm looking forward to getting into the software with this thing and really getting in and tweaking stuff with it. I'm looking forward to uh, comparing it to the real Fender unit that I have, other pedals that, that try to do the drip thing, and uh, anything else I can think of. So yeah, let's check out some of these other settings. Now we're on reverse. Here's Offspring. Whoa. That sounds magical. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun with that. Here's the swell setting. Pretty cool. It's like a, a built-in, like slow gear sort of thing that feeds into pretty spacey sounding reverb trail. Echo verb.
does what it says. Shimmer. It shimmers. Mod verb. This is either going to be like a chorus or a flanger or a phaser or something like that. Or a tremolo. I like that. Lo-fi. Not bad. Plate, a classic. True spring, so I'm assuming this is going to sound like a spring reverb in an amp. That sounds very nice. I don't mind that at all. It's got a quicker and tighter drip than the uh, than the outboard spring setting, but uh, I think that's still a really usable uh, spring reverb sounding for anyone doing surf rock or you know kind of vintage style rock and roll. E dome. I don't know what E dome means. Those sounds really nice. <laughs> hall L. I'm assuming that means hall long. Sounds great. And then back to room. And that's all of them, as far as I'm aware. I'm sure there's other secret settings that I could load into this thing when I get into the software, and I'll be exploring all of that. Uh, I think everything on here sounds great. I'm really excited to explore that drip sound more. Uh, it's very promising, and I'm really excited about it. It's just so cool that there's a new option for people who are chasing that drippy dragon like I am. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Like, subscribe, dislike, leave me nasty comments uh, if you want to support this channel and make it you know, more motivating for me to make more content, uh, visit our Patreon page and uh, send me money. I'll take that money and I'll use it to make content. All right, later guys.